Hi, it's Angus Marshall from Big Music, and I have Josh from Roland and Voss with me for What's in, in the, the box. box? Now, each episode, our producers put a piece of vintage gear inside the box, mm -hmm. and Josh and I crack the box open, reminisce about the product. We don't know what it is. We don't we haven't know seen what it before. Is. We don't know what 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 they're stuck in there. So let's open the box. Oh, wow. hello. That's hello. Cool. Hang on a minute. Well, let's. Uh, Wow. Let's get her out. Woo! So we have... What? We have, you know... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Gold, frankincense and myrrh or something. Wow. This is... Um, <laughs> these, I believe, uh, are out at the Roland office <laughs> in a glass cabinet. Or were. Uh, so, yeah, celebrating six million units. Wow. Yeah. So I thought it was a time machine because you got... You plug into October 1977 and come out in 1990. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, maybe oh. it's the uh, the TM1, the time machine. <laughs> pedal. Yeah. So that's uh, 1998, 6 million pedals. So that's 17 years ago. Wow. That's the year and I started at Roland, actually. And then we have the Metal Zone, one of the most popular Boss pedals. How many And that's that? uh, 8 million compact pedals sold. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. What year is that? Uh, so, that is a bit of the say of the year. It's probably 92 or something, is it? And then, or 2000, yeah, 2002, sorry. And then there's the Blues Driver with 10 million pedals sold. There's a, a bit of a jump, and that's in 2007. PD2. But do they work? That would be my question, because I know they're, there's kind of like um, showpieces that we have at the right. I have office, heard of this one before. I never knew these other two existed. Let's so. plug them in to see if they actually let's work. Let's plug them in. It should be good. So I'm just giving this a clean because it is actually gold plated. <laughs> the DS one's actually gold plated. These were issued to the Roland JVs, they're called Joint Ventures, which were the, the Rollins around the world. There's only about 10 issued or something, a number like that. Um, it's never been turned on, so we don't know if it works. This one, the MT2 from, yeah, what year was this one? Like 2002, 2003, something like that. <laughs> we just found a battery in it, a Roland, the old Roland 9 volt batteries. Still had the plastic around it, but it was plugged in to the points. That should mean, 10 years later, longer, the, it, the battery's flat. I just stuck it on my tongue, the battery's still going. So I'm fascinated by that. That's just me being a nerd. But now we're about to try out the gold-plated DS1. Angus, you are possibly the first man in the universe to uh, play through, well, at least in wow. Australia, to play through one of these. Um, we don't know if it works. We hear it works. We've plugged it in. And reportedly one sold for uh, like up to 10 grand US or something on, on eBay. Someone put one up for sale, which I don't think that's right. This is a, it's a trophy piece. Okay, you ready? We try it out. In, here we go. That is the DS1. There we yeah, go. Gold plating in there. I, I can. I think I can hear the gold. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So the metal zone. Metal zone. No light. Light doesn't Ooh. work. There we go. Mm, interesting. Turn that one off. Here we go. Blues driver. Yes, blue light. Cool. You gotta turn them all on. All right, ready? Put them all. Should be quiet, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah quiet. All absolutely. Right. There we go. Noise reduction. And off. <laughs> well, there you have it. Three really cool and collectible pedals. Check out our eBay store. You can start at $10,000. <laughs> Check the link below for our YouTube channel. Subscribe and keep an eye out for the next What's in the Box episode. I'm Angus Marshall. That Josh was Josh Monday. Monday. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you soon.